What is up everyone, Gamebreaker got here. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at my tutorial for Miles Morales. And this is pretty much a sequel to the tutorial that I've made for Marvels of uh, Spider-Man on PlayStation 4. So please, please make sure you look at that one. And I will be linking you guys in the description down below to that video as well. So please make sure you check it out if you haven't already, as I do teach some pretty cool uh, tips that also apply to this game although I am gonna summarize it but it's just good if you really wanna you know learn how to do those tricks uh, to take a look at that video as well so with that being said guys thank you all so much for those of you that helped me get to this point of this video where the game is now so much more enjoyable so shout out to my boy uh, who storm Aviola cosmic Spidey sensei Parker you know all these spider-man veterans out there on my uh, sub channel that you know you guys know who you are so um, yeah let's get it right into this video guys and um, yeah let's get it the one hit cancel so this was the very first move I figured in Marvel's spider-man where Peter just kept repeatedly roundhouse kicking his opponents when not near a wall and then when near a wall he does like a left hook slap into a roundhouse kick into some absurd amount of kicks rapid kicks uh, on his opponents but this does also apply to miles so when not near a wall miles does a you know a faint kick like that and then when near a wall he does really rapid kicks with both kick I mean with both legs and it just looks absolutely insane as you can see now to do this is so simple all you have to press is square and then followed by R1 to cancel the animation to going back to doing the, the kick again this method also works to increase your combo count so make sure you use it to your advantage Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the Venom attacks and how to cancel them. If you already know how to do this, great. But if you don't, in case you don't know, if you're on the ground and you have a and you want to execute a Venom punch, you can simply cancel the animation if you don't want to connect it by pressing X or circle to dodge before the animation lands on your opponent. Now, this only works with Venom punch. If you're gonna do the L1 triangle version of the Venom attack, you will need to press circle to cancel the animation because X does not work on that one. And then if you want to cancel your other Venom attack, which is the Venom Smash, when you, when you press L1, Square and X at the same time, that's called the Venom Smash. And while well, Miles jumps in the air and then, you know, he pummels, I mean, uh, he smashes the ground. That one you cannot cancel by pressing X. You can only cancel that one by pressing circle. And then we have Miles ultimate attack which is L1 circle and triangle at the same time so you can cancel this whilst on the ground so I repeat whilst you're on the ground you can activate it and then immediately jump just simply jump by pressing X or you can do the storm launch as well or you can press circle to just dodge and you know before the enemy hits you with it so you can incorporate this in a combo after you launch an enemy you can do this so many ways guys you're just gonna have to try it out and you know see how you would like to link all of these moves together in a combo and I do give you guys some examples on this video as you can see uh, me just you know trying to pull off some strings uh, to give you guys an example of how you can uh, implement this in your in your combo to make it slightly more stylish and when performed after a slow-mo perfect dodge the move does come out a lot faster so make sure you pay attention at those perfect dodges as they will mess you up otherwise so now I'm going to show you guys a tip from a friend who mentioned this to us on his YouTube channel. His name is WhoStorm and he calls this the storm launch because obviously he's the founder who found this out on the shortcut. So basically in game if you press you know uh, pause or options wherever you're playing and then go to accessibility or shortcuts or whatever where I just showed you guys. You can actually put the charge jump into one of those shortcuts and this will allow you to literally jump at any point you touch the floor or any time you touch any kind of concrete surface almost immediately your charge jump becomes a normal jump quite literally guys and this is a game changer because it allows you to just break every single animation whether it's venom punch whether it's you know normal attacks you can just do anything with this but there was a tiny little problem with my button layout because this storm launch only would allow me to either jump forward, up, you know, right up in the air, you know, to the right, left, forward or backward. 
It wouldn't allow me to do anything else. I couldn't dodge whilst I was doing this. I couldn't do anything. So what I did, and I'm gonna show you, is I changed my buttons, my accessibility settings, on the PlayStation 4 or on the PlayStation 5, you have this option to change your D-pad, your left D-pad, into L3, so your left analog click, and your right D-pad to right analog click. Also, I do recommend you guys have the swing kick on the right analog and the charge jump on the left analog stick. And you'll see just why when we begin to do our combo samples with this uh, with this tech. So this tech, which is the storm launch, turns into the storm breaker, which you can basically use into combos, whether you're air juggling your opponent or on the floor. You can do it anywhere, anytime, so long as you know when and exactly when to use it. And right here we have the cinematic storm launch. So basically you have this kind of crazy effect where Miles goes off the screen <laughs> whilst punching them. And uh, to do this tag, all you have to do is press square followed by L2. And each time Miles lands on the floor, you need to press L2. So jump, square, L2, jump again, square, L2, whilst diagonally holding your left analog stick to either the right side or left side. This is the storm breaker. Now, to practice the storm launch and the storm breaker, I recommend you guys select the very first mission where you fight the uh, underground for the first time as it gives you a free venom bar to start with, as well as some really cool enemies and tough enemies to fight to practice your combos on. So let's go up to the arena and practice the storm breaker. So first things first, I need you guys to practice this one move right here. So I'm gonna need you guys to stand still, press and hold square, and then immediately guys, almost immediately, you have to be having, already having the left analog stick pointing towards the left as that kick is, you know, connecting with the enemy. And then immediately you click it inside whilst pointing to the left and then direct that analog stick towards, you know, downwards. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you on a live video right now how you do it. Hey guys, GBG here, I'm home, I'm, I'm sorry about the attire, but I'm here to show you how you can do it on your controller. So, I hope you guys can see this and I hope the light isn't too bright. So, to perform the storm breaker and the storm rush, okay? The storm breaker first, you need to be pressing square and holding square. And as you're pressing and holding square and you see Miles do the animation where he launches his opponent, and the camera angle also has to be a certain specific way. If the camera angle is like this, so Miles is here and the enemy is here, so the camera will be like that diagonally, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, you need to be pressing square and holding and then immediately click and immediately direct your analog stick towards the left. So press and hold square, click, direct the analog stick down like that immediately, like almost instantaneously. So, so like this, boom, and then press circle right because this will then make miles jump towards the left look back immediately the animation is so instantaneous that you don't even see it all you see is miles jump towards the left momentarily and then immediately go forward with the brake uh on the on the circle with the air brake all right and if miles is like this you're gonna need to be doing it the other way around right so you're gonna be directing the analog stick to the right first down and then circle so you do square bang so as a, as you're pressing square again you're gonna be clicking square boom so as you can see square hold click the analog stick bang and boom and the analog stick has to be clicked whilst you're holding it to the right side and vice versa okay and if miles is facing if miles is here and his opponents are here you're gonna need to find a way to do it and i think it's like this and if miles is like that i think it's like that okay so Depending on which angle you're facing, the storm breaker changes as well, guys, which is why it's so tricky to perform, okay? And the storm rush is the other way around. The storm rush, all you have to do is press and hold in square and then clicking towards the back. Instead of left first, you're doing it towards the back. So Miles tricks backwards and then you, you're pressing and holding the analog stick towards the left. So you're doing bang, and like that instead of like this you're doing bang like this okay so you're pressing and holding it click literally instantaneously and then drag it back up uh to the left and press circle so boom 
like super quick so bang like this and vice versa depending on which side of the angle you're facing in the camera in game so you guys honestly you're just gonna have to play around with it slow down my video see how it's gonna help you and just it took me hours to learn this guy so it wouldn't be fair for you guys to get it I don't know for, for in five minutes time it's gonna be tricky so just play around with it bear with me and uh, I wish you good luck man but you got this I'll, let's go let's hop back in the video though and um, I'll try to break it down for you guys on a slower pace on the video all right as I said there are two types of the storm breakers so there are this, this is a storm breaker and then we have the storm rush the storm rush is when you send your enemy flying but you still manage to catch him from behind from the front it does not matter he will still catch it and I'll show you what that looks like as well And this is Venom Bite. So the way this works, as a counter, all you have to press is literally triangle, but I figured a way to carry it on all the way up in the air and before the enemy dies, I can then finish it off with a Venom counter or a Venom Bite, which I, which is what I call it. So what you do, you, you dodge, your perfect dodge to begin with, and then instead of you just pressing triangle as an input as the opponent suggests or as the game suggests, what you're gonna need to do is press X as soon as you launch your enemy in the air. So you're gonna have to press X, not the storm launch, not the storm breaker, nothing. You literally just have to stand still, wait for the right time, and press X as soon as Miles com comes back on the ground with both of his feet. And then what you're gonna need to do is just combo the hell out of the opponent to oblivion before he hits the floor. And also you have a limited amount of time as to how many hits you can input, but this combo which I'm gonna show you will give you guys an idea of what you can do with it. All right, and this brings us to the end of this video. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It took me a very long time to put this video together for you guys. I'd really appreciate it if you guys shared this video, liked and supported the channel. In general, if you didn't if you didn't like it, although because I missed something or anything like that, of course, thumbs down. It is only deserving. And uh, you can tell me in the comments down below what I missed or what you would like to for me to implement on the next video. There was a lot more I couldn't show all in one video because it's just taking so much time, but sounds off for now, guys. I have more surprises for you, like teleporting enemies into my grenade. Yeah, think about that uh, on my next video, which will be a tutorial next week or something. But until then, guys, thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys on my next one. Peace. Oh, is that just teleporting to me?